If you traveled back 480 million years to the Ordovician period, you'd confront a world of colossal horrors, like alien-like, squid-like creatures towering over six meters tall. In our last chapter, we explored the awe of the Cambrian explosion. Now, stepping into the Ordovician, you'd find the once mighty Cambrian predators extinct. Yet to your surprise, trilobites, thriving for millions of years, still dominate, their armor now perfected. But their reign is about to crumble. A new dynasty has risen, the cephalopods. Among them, Camaroceras, a 10-meter-long behemoth, looms with crushing dominance. This ancestor of modern octopuses was far deadlier than its descendants. Despite its massive tentacles, it moved with lethal precision. Once targeted, escape was impossible, even for trilobites, whose famed armor shattered like glass under Camaroceras' scissor-like jaws. As you inspect coral reefs, you'd spot the earliest vertebrates, jawless, eel-like Arandaspus. Though relegated to the food chain's bottom, their backbones marked an evolutionary milestone, setting the stage for future dominance. Once jaws evolved, vertebrates would rule the seas, but that's a tale for later. Just as you marvel at the Ordo Vision's thriving life, the sky darkens, temperatures plummet. Approaching shallow waters, you find them freezing, glittering ice entombing entire ecosystems. Across Earth's coastlines, countless species instantly, a prelude to the planet's first mass extinction. You realize this was inevitable. Algae had overrun the oceans, absorbing CO2 and pumping out oxygen until